With the collection for Quiet Maths today, we're going to look at simplifying algebraic fractions for National 5 Maths. OK, I'll recap on simplifying fractions. When you're simplifying fractions, if you can find a number that goes into both of these, you can divide by that number and then simplify it. But what you want to do is find the highest number, really. Now, you can do it over and over again or just find the highest. So if I look at this first one here, the biggest number that goes into both of them, and you can check this yourself, is 24. So if I'm dividing, I'm taking 24 as a common factor, really. So I'm going to show you this in a funky way, but it'll make sense when you do algebraic fractions. If I take 24 and 24 on the bottom here, then the top is 24 times 2, which is 48, and 24 times 3, which is 72. So the 24s are cancelling each other out to leave just two thirds. That really is what you're doing when you're simplifying. Let's look at the bottom one to see the same. So I've got 26 and 39, so the highest common factor for these is 13. So I can think of this as I've got 13 times 2, and I've got 13 times 3. So again, that simplifies to 2 thirds, because the 13s just cancel each other out. And we're going to do the same thing when it comes to algebraic fractions. We're going to take the highest common factor out, but it just might be algebraic. This video is sponsored by Lecky, and we are offering viewers of this channel 30% off of any of our books. All you have to do is use the code Claren Maths, and the link to their books is down below. Now let's look at a couple of their books to highlight. We have got National 5 Maths and Higher Maths, and these are complete revision and practice. Two books in one, we cover the whole course. Here's a random page, for instance, working simultaneous equations algebraically. You can see how good that book is and how clear it looks but also at the end, practice exam papers that look exactly like the SQA exam papers that are published. Discount code Claren Maths. click the link to order now. Okay, so let's look at simplifying algebraic fractions now, but with a common factor. So these are simple examples. I've got 7a and 10a squared. So let's look at the highest common factor. First of all, let's check the number part. 7 and 10, well, there's no numbers that go to both of them. But now I've got a and a squared. Well, a is the highest common factor because a goes in a and a goes in a squared. It's the smallest power. So I can take a out as a common factor, or to think it like this, I've got 7a, and I've got 10, a squared is 8a, and then you can just see the a's cancelling out to get 7 over 10a. You can do the same on the bottom one, but this time your common factor is, well, I've got 12 and 40, so I want a number that goes into 12 and 40, that's 4. But then I've got b squared and b is 5, so b squared is the one I want. So I've got 12, 4b squared then, so I'm going to write 4b squared. And that's going to be times by 3. And I'm going to take 4b squared here. So that gets times by 10. And if you're not sure, the number of b's have to add up to 5, so it's b cubed. 3 plus 2 is 5. So they cancel and they cancel, leaving a nice answer of 3, 3 over 10b cubed. And we're done there. Okay, let's look at another example. If you see it in a grey background, it comes from maths.scot, which is a great website with full, full of uh, worked examples and solutions. Fully simplify the following expression, x squared x plus 1 over x, x minus 2, x plus 1. So you can see here it's already factorised for you. Notice it also tells you x can't be 0, 2 and minus 1. That's not really needed in the question, it's just to let you know that on the bottom you can't divide by 0. So you, just, you can just ignore that really. So I look for the, com the common factor parts. So let me just write this out. I always think if you've got an x squared, if you just write x, x, if it x plus 1, and then x, x minus 2, x plus 1, you should be able to see the things that are the same and the things that are different on top and bottom. I've got an x plus 1 and an x plus 1. I've got an x and I've got an x. So that equals, I've just got one x left on top, and I've only got x minus 2 left on the bottom. So I'm done there. Don't be tempted to then try and cancel that and that because that minus 2 is attached to that x. It's like it's in brackets, so you can't touch it, okay? Okay, simplifying algebraic fractions using a common factor. So this time, it doesn't look like there's anything I can do because there's nothing at the same top and bottom. There's some similar thing. This is where we need to get our factorising in. So we're going to use a difference of two squares for this one. So for the, I'm just going to do it separately. For the top, that's double brackets because there's no common factor and I square root the first term, so that's 4d and 4d, and I square root the last, that's e and e, and I get plus and minus. So I knew that was a difference of two squares because there's no common factor, but there's squared terms, and both of these are squared, so it's called a difference of two squares, and that's how you do it. You square root both, and then you put plus and minus. If you need help with that, just check the 
tab up the top and go back to factorising. All over, 4D minus E, you can't do anything with that, but you can imagine that's like a bracket on its own. So that's got the same top and bottom now, so I can cancel with 4D minus E, just leaving 4D plus E on the top, and it would leave one on the bottom. If you've got one left on the bottom, you might as well just leave it without anything. Okay, simplifying algebraic fractions. This time we're going to do a bit more factorising, so always just try and factorise the top and factorise the bottom, and then simplify if you can. So the top is the same as it was before. It's a difference of two squares because there's no highest common factor. So I do x, double brackets x, x, and then square root of 9 to get 3 and 3, and it's a plus and a minus. So now the bottom one's called a trinomial. So to factorise x squared plus 8x plus 15, I'm looking for two numbers at times to make 15, but add to make 8. Now you may, might be able to see the answer straight away, but if you can't, just list your factors of 15. 1 and 15, 3 and 5, well the only pair there that makes 8 is 3 and 5, plus 3 plus 5. So the bottom one is x plus 3 and x plus 5. If you don't get a same top and bottom, you've done something wrong. x plus 3 and x plus 3 cancel to leave x minus 3 on the top and x plus 5 on the bottom, and we're done there. Express this fraction in its simplest form. x squared plus 3x minus 4 over x squared minus x. So I'm going to factorise the top first, so let's look at the top. I'm looking for two numbers at times to make minus 4, but add to make 3. Now I just list the factors of 4 when adjusted signs. So 1 times 4 is 4, and 2 times 2 is 4. The only pair there that add or take away to make 3 is 1 and 4. 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 minus 2 is 0. And how does it make 3? Well, it's plus 4 minus 1. So just check, does plus 4 times minus 1 make minus 4? Yes, it does. And plus 4 take away 1 is 3. So factorise the top. It is x plus 4 and x minus 1. So now I can do the bottom. To do the bottom, it's just a common factor, because it's just x squared minus x. So x is a common factor, so I take x out, and I get x times x is x squared, x times 1 is x, x minus 1 again, cancel, cancel, x plus 4 is left on the top, and just an x on the bottom, and we're done there. So you're getting a bit tricky now with simplifying algebraic fractions. This time is a trinomial on the top and on the bottom, so I'm going to have to factorise two trinomials. So let's do the top first. We've got 5, we're times in 2, and we're adding to 6. So we can have 5 times 1. That's it. So it's plus 5 plus 1. So that's an easy one. So your top is x plus 5, x plus 1. Now your bottom. So I'm times in to make minus 2. I'm adding to make minus 1. The only factors of 2 or 2 and 1. How do we... Add or take away to make minus 1, well I've got minus 2 plus 1, because if it was 2 minus 1 it would be positive 1. So that gives me x minus 2 and again x plus 1. So to write out my question, let me just move this a little bit, we've got x plus 5 and x plus 1 on the top, and x minus 2 and x plus 1 on the bottom, Cancel, cancel, x plus 5 is left, x minus 2 is left, so we're done there. Okay, simplifying algebraic fractions, and then we've got a hard one here. We've got 4x squared plus 4x minus 3, and 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. So I need to factorise the top and bottom if these are hard trinomials. So let's start. 4x squared plus 4x minus 3. So looking at our top, we times the 4 and the 3 together to make 12, so we're times it to make minus 12, but we're adding to make 4. So that makes 1 and 12, or 2 and 6, or 3 and 4. Well, the only pair there that add or take away to make 4 is 6 and 2, so I pick 6 and I pick 2, and I need to make plus 6 and minus 2. So now we split the top term to 4x squared plus 6x minus 2x minus 3, Split in the middle and factorise each side. 2x, 2x plus 3. So I need 2x plus 3 on this side, so I've got minus 1. So I've now completed my factorisation for the top. I've got 2x minus 1 and I've got 2x plus 3. 
let's do the bottom as well. So looking at our bottom, I'll do it here. We've got 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. So I need to times the 6 and the 2 together, so that makes 12. And I'm adding to make minus 7. So I've got 1 and 12, or 2 and 6, or 3 and 4. Well, the only numbers that add or take away to make 7 is 3 and 4. But I need to make minus 7, so it's minus 3, minus 4. So splitting that term up into 6x squared, minus 3x minus 4x plus the 2 on the end. Split. 3x is a common factor here, so I get 2x minus 1. I need to have this as 2x minus 1 again for this worked. So I take out 2, because 2 twos is 4, and it's a minus, because minus 2 times 2 is minus 4x, minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2. So my factorization is 3x minus 2 and 2x minus 1. So putting it all together, our first answer was 2x minus 1 and 2x plus 3. And our bottom bit is 3x minus 2 and 2x minus 1. You should be able to see you've got a same top and bottom. Cancel, cancel to leave 2x plus 3 over... 3x minus 2, and we're done there. Let's look at some past paper questions. Simplifying algebraic fractions, past paper questions, x squared national by maths, 2015, paper 1, question 12. Simplify x squared minus 4x over x squared plus x minus 20. So let's look at the top first. Common factors x, so x bracket, x times x is x squared, and then minus 4. And now our bottom, we're looking for two numbers at times to make 20 but add to make 1, but it's still just x and x. So I could have 20 and 1, that doesn't work. 10 and 2 doesn't work. Finally, you'll get 4 times 5 is 20, but 5 minus 4 is 1. So we're going to have 5 in one bracket, 4 in the other. And how do I add these or take away? Well, I need to make plus 1x. So it's plus 5 minus 4 is plus 1, and 5 times minus 4 is minus 20. Now I can cancel x minus 4, x minus 4 to get x over x plus 5, and we're done there. Simplifying algebraic fractions, S squared national 5 maths, 2017, paper 2, question 9. This is a two-parter because it's quite a hard one. Part 1 is factorise 4x squared minus 25. Remember, no common factor, so it's double brackets. This one's a difference of two squares, because the first one's a square number, and so is the second one. So I square root of 4 to get 2 and x, 2 and x. 25 is 5 and 5 plus and minus. So now I need to factorise my bottom for part b, because I'm to simplify this. I've already got my top, so for my bottom bit, 2x squared minus x minus 10. I can imagine times in the 2 and the 10 together to make minus 20, so I'm times it to make minus 20, but I'm adding to make minus 1. So 1 and 20 I could pick, or 2 and 10, or 4 and 5. Now the only pair of them the add or take away to make 1 is 4 and 5. So I need to pick 5 and 4. And I can make minus 1, so it's minus 5 plus 4. So that gives me 2x squared minus 5x plus 4x minus 10. So I need to then split that bit in the middle. Take the x out as a common factor to get 2x minus 5. Keep that as 2x minus 5 as well. So I need to then plus 2, because 2 twos is 4x, and 2 fives is 10. So my factorization is complete, x plus 2, 2x minus 5. So to answer the question, I've got simplify. Well, I've already got 2x plus 5 and 2x minus 5 on the top. So our top was 2x plus 5 and 2x minus 5, and our bottom over x plus 2 and 2x minus 5. If you don't get the same top and bottom, you've not done it right. There has to be a same bracket. 2x minus 5 is cancel to get 2x plus 5 all over x plus 2. And we're done there. Fractions, S squared national by maths 2019, paper 2, question 13. Find the expression for the green of the line joining point A to point B. Give your answer in the simplest form. So this is using straight line gradient, but it also has Algebraic fractions in it. So let me go for gradient, just for the sake of completeness. 
That's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what you do is you label one of your points x1, y1, and your other one x2 and y2. So I've got 4p squared minus 9 over 4p minus 6. So the top is a difference of two squares. So it's double brackets because there's no common factor. 2p and 2p, 3 and 3, plus and minus, all over. And we'll have got a common factor here between 4 and 6 is 2. So take 2 out. 2 times 2p is 4p, 2 3s is 6. And there we are. We've got an algebraic fraction. And we can simplify the top and bottom to get 2p plus 3 over 2. And we're done there. Simplifying algebraic fractions, S Gray National Fine Maths, 2022, paper 2, question 12. Simplify 2ab plus 6a over b squared minus 9. Let's have a look at that a little bit closer. Okay, top. Common factor here is 2, but there's also an a common. So I can take 2a out. Single bracket if it's a common factor. 2a times b is 2ab. And 2 3s are 6, so plus 3. Bottom. No common factor, so it's double brackets. Double brackets. Difference of two squares, because it's two terms with a minus and they're both square. So a square root of b squared, that's b. And then 9 makes 3 times 3. So it's going to be plus in one of them, minus in the other. So that gives you b plus 3 and b plus 3 cancelling. So you've got 2a on the top and b minus 3 left on the bottom. And you're done there. Okay, simplifying algebraic fractions, S squared national five maths, 2023, paper two, question 12. Simplify x squared minus 16 over x squared plus x minus 20. Very similar to our previous question. Simplifying the top, we've got double brackets, x and x, 4 and 4, plus 4 and minus 4, because that's the difference of two squares and there's no common factor. And then our bottom also has to be double brackets because there's no common factor. Still just x and x. But now I'm looking for two numbers at times to make 20, but add to make 1. That's going to be 4 and 5. So I'll put 5 and 1 and 4 and the other. I just need to get my sign right. So I'm making plus 1. So it's plus 5 minus 4. Because if it was minus plus 4 minus 5, it would be minus 1. Now I've got same on top and bottom. So cancel, cancel to get x plus 4. And I get x plus 5 on the bottom. And we're done there. Simplifying algebraic fractions, past paper questions, S squared national five maths, 2024, paper two, question six. Part A, factorise y squared minus six y, and then simplify the fraction. So part A, y squared minus six y, that's a, it looks like a difference of two squares, but it's not, because it's a common factor. Y comes out, y times y is y squared, minus six times y is six y. And now I can simplify B, because I've the top is already y, y minus 6. So I can just write that again. Over, in the bottom, is double brackets because there's no common factor. So I've got y squared minus 3y minus 18. So it's just y and y. You're looking for two numbers at times to make 18, but add to make 3. Now here's a little tip for you. The top's already got a 6 in it, so one of them has to be 6. 6 times 3 is 18, and 6 minus 3 is 3, so I'm good. Also, I've got minus 6 in the top, so if I've done the top right, that must be minus 6. And I have to make minus 3, so it's plus 3. Minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3. Now I can just cancel, cancel, to get y over y plus 3. And we're done there. This has been Mr. Coyle for Coyle Maths. We've done a whole of simplifying algebraic fractions for National 5 Maths today. Later on, we'll move on to adding and subtracting algebraic fractions and times and dividing them. That'll be in the next videos. Keep watching every single week as we go through the whole National 5 course. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.